Hello and welcome. This is Laura O'Brien from the Irish Pagan School and I'm just here this morning to clear up some confusion. I thought I'd hop on because I'm seeing some confusion about when exactly the winter solstice is. And I happen to have just taught a class about this. So I do have some slides which I'm going to share, a little sneak peek from the class. But I, re I think the confusion is happening because Newgrange or Bruna Boynia broadcasted the winter solstice this morning from Newgrange. So as I record this, it is the morning of the 21st of December. And generally they do their solstice celebrations on the 21st of December. And the reason for this is that the solstice is a bit of a move, movable feast. I'll go into exactly how and why that is just in a second here. But it is convenient for Newgrange as a, an enterprise, as a government enterprise with a lot of paperwork to do. It's convenient for them to just pick a date and go with it, right? And the reality is that the sun, weather permitting, the sun will enter the chamber at Newgrange on three to five mornings, depending on the weather. Three really, but, it, you know, there's, there's, again, there's a lot. It's not exactly like, precision precision right so i'm just going to share my screen here and we will hopefully explain it and clear it up for you a little bit about when exactly we should or could celebrate the winter solstice within irish paganism or if you just want to reconnect to your roots or your ancestry so how do the dates work so as i said we are here on the morning of the 21st of december so it is thursday morning i believe as I'm recording this, and I'm just going to put it out straight away on our YouTube channel. You might be watching this sometime in the future. So if you are, you can Google the exact solstice point in your country. So winter solstice, whatever the year is, your country. And when I did that, what I get is Friday, the 22nd of December, 2003, 3.27 a.m. So I'm using this as an example. It's going to be timely and relevant if you're seeing it right now. You know, and if you miss it, then maybe subscribe to the channel and hit like so that you get the notifications, right? So you don't miss future content like this. But the exact point of solstice is 3.27 a.m. like tonight, and that makes it Friday, so the 22nd. And I believe like there's some split, um, 40, 44%, I think, of the time it's on the 22nd and 40 or 56% of the time it's on the 21st. So the 21st is a good day to go for, right? If you want to celebrate the solstice. But what exactly is the solstice? So we're just going to go through that for a minute. The solstice marks the point at which the sun is exactly overhead in the Tropic of Capricorn. Like many other astronomical terms, the word solstice comes from Latin. So owing to the sun appearing to stand still in the sky, the word solstitium was used, which in turn is composed of the word sol, sun, and sister, stand still. And in Irish, this is green, sun, and stad, stop. So green, stad, on givre is the Irish winter solstice. Now, it is worth noting and very important to understand that the solstice doesn't occur on one single day, right? That's our modern scientific astronomical take on the solstices. The sun appears to rise and set at the same point on the horizon in the east and west over several days. The sun's angle relative to the Earth's equator changes so gradually that without our modern instruments, the shift is difficult to perceive for about 10 days. So that is the Greens thought. That is literally the, the sun standing still. And that is what our ancestors would have been observing, right? So back to this first slide here. A lot of people ask me about my vigil and when I hold my vigil. Now, I'll put a link below to the blog post where I explain about my vigil and, and what how that works and all the rest of it. And just for me, because I have, you know, I run my own business, my kids are grown up. Um, I get to do my vigil exactly whenever that point of solstice is. So whatever the night is that is the closest to the exact point of the solstice. That is when I will be staying up from sunset to sunrise the next day and greeting the dawn the next day. Now, is that right or wrong? I don't know, but that's what I do. That's what I've been doing for 25 years. And a lot of people have started doing it. And again, they're picking all different days to do it that suit themselves. And that's fine too, right? 
my vigil will be this evening. So again, it is like 12.52 as I'm recording this here. And um, by the time I get it up, it'll be uh, whatever time, an hour or two later. And what we have is this vigil, which goes through this solstice point because we've been able to mark it exactly, right? Our ancestors would not have been able to do that. I mean, magically, maybe you could make a case for it, right? But even the way the light goes into the roof box at Newgrange has changed because the sun's position has changed in the freaking 5,000 years since the Newgrange or Bruna Boynia monument was built. And there may other be, there's, there's many, many other monuments around Ireland which are linked or potentially linked to the solstices and the equinoxes. And if they're not as big as Newgrange or as well studied as Newgrange, they could be missed or they could be off alignment currently. So that's a whole thing too. But when Newgrange was being built, the sun entering the chamber would have gone further in. It would have hit right up to the back, um, the alcove at the back passage. And it would have been much stronger and possibly for a longer time period, right? So maybe when it was built originally, it would have been that entire green thought when the sun was standing still on the horizon for those seven days, 10 days, whatever it looked like to our ancestors, right? So when do we do it now? Um, as I said, this is Thursday night. Um, I know people who are doing a vigil Friday night because they don't have work to get up for on Saturday. That's fine. Now, I will say even when I was working, I would still vigil, but that's me because I'm insane like that. Um, but you really have to do what suits you, right? You really, really do. And kind of anywhere within this period is going to work because what you're doing is like, what is the actual point of the solstice? Spiritually, what are you doing? You are welcoming the return of the sun. You are energetically supporting the return of the sun. You are greeting the dawn as the sun rises to make sure that you are invested in this returning light. And what does that represent to us? It can be light, strength, health, support, community, peace, whatever intent you have, that's the point of the solstice. You know, whether you're doing it alone, whether you're doing it with family, in the class that I taught, um, it's adaptable to solo practitioners. Um, it, it shows you all through the ritual steps and everything, a lot about the history and traditions. It's a whole six part class. It's It's quite extensive. Um, I'll put a link to that below if anybody is interested in doing it. Yes, you still have time, right? Don't worry. Any time over this weekend, any time over the Christmas is actually going to be okay to do, uh, I would say specifically, like, welcome back to sunrise. You know, if at some point you can either stay up or get up before sunrise in your area and greet the sun. Now, obviously, this is for the northern hemisphere where it's the winter solstice the summer solstice is going to be a different tradition i will talk about that in six months and then you can adapt it to wherever you are locally right but there is a lot around this season there's a lot of folklore there's a lot of history there's a lot of archaeology clearly that would show us that these are the things that our irish ancestors were doing whether you have bloodline connected i keep saying the ancestors i mean the people who were on this island before us who we are connecting to spiritually right you don't have to be bloodline connected to actually work with the ancestors of Ireland. And I do have, in case anybody's wondering, I do have um, a whole class at the Irish Pagan School, um, Your Irish Ancestry. And I also have a free resource, which um, is available in the links below, or you can get it from Pagan dot school forward slash roots or OOTS. And it's a five day series with information and practical exercises to actually give you the tools to connect to the ancestors of Ireland, right? Or your own ancestors in whatever way suits you. So I know I keep talking about the ancestors. A lot of people are a bit, eh, what's the ancestors? Well, we got you, right? We got resources. Uh, you, you name it. You have a question. We have built a resource. We have made a video. We have done a blog post. We've got a podcast. We've got a fucking TikTok now. 
we got you covered. And of course, then many classes, both me and John and our wonderful teachers here at the Irish Pagan School are there with full resources for you. So do check out the links below if you're here on YouTube. Um, it's extensive. Um, if you're listening on the podcast, go to irishpagan.school forward slash free, F-R-E-E. And what you're going to get there is basically a year's worth of completely free content. I'm not just here to sell you glasses, right? If you want to take the winter solstice class, it is available for sale. Absolutely have at it. But I also wanted to make sure that people weren't super confused about what the solstice is, when it is. People get so kind of caught up in their own heads about, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Just fucking do it, right? Just do something. And if you do take a class at the Irish School, we have a whole community that's talking about this currently. It's on Facebook. Um, it's for our students at the Irish Pagan School. Whether they're free or paid classes, you're still welcome as a student at the Irish Pagan School. This is our tour. This is our community. You are not on your own. You have resources. You have community. You have facts. You have information so that we can learn, experience, and integrate. And those are the three pillars of Irish paganism that we teach, that I practice, that we have taught at the Irish Pagan School since the beginning. And do you know what? There's also a free resource about that. irishpagan.school forward slash free. And you will get the three pillars of Irish paganism and you can go through that. There's exercises and information and all sorts of stuff. So look, if you want stuff to do over the holidays, I have just literally landed a shed load of stuff in your lap, right? But mostly light a candle, greet the dawn, connect, connect in with the winter solstice in whatever way it suits you this year. You can build up year by year, right? You don't have to go big and bold right now. Just do whatever you can right now. Do whenever you can right now and just make sure that you're it's making sense to you okay so links below get the winter solstice class get the free resources get whatever you need and do the work so i will see you in the next video it's long a fall bye